I think you can get married anytime you want because you can also get divorced anytime you want. We know that a lot of, especially Chinese people, they want to have their career and lots of money in the bank and all that before you get married. Money is nice, but it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is. Do you have the idea of the right age to get married? Don't have a specific age. I think that uh, what's most important is the maturity level of the people, not a specific age. Definitely in your thirties. I think twenties are too early because you're still figuring out who you are. So in your thirties, you're more um, aware of who you are, you're more settled in your career, more financially independent, so definitely 30s. I think you can get married anytime you want, because mm -hmm. you can also get divorced anytime you want. Um, it is a difficult topic to answer. Being an adult right. in different places can vary, like when you're, you're 18 in America compared to other places, so it really varies. If you are considering about baby, as soon as possible is the best way to get married. But you don't have any plan for baby, not sure, but lady, late 30 should be okay too. I don't think it's about the age. I think it's about how prepared you are at the moment financially. And you are mature and you feel like you don't want to have in like a solo time traveling, exploring. Maybe, yeah, go ahead and marry. You need to grow up enough to have judgment in order to marry someone. If you're too young, you might not know or not grow enough. But if a guy wants something from you, that is not a really good thing. So yeah, age is important. But like the more important than that is the maturity. What kind of things do you think should be prepared before marriage? Money. If you don't, if you don't have money, you can't like start everything. Well, to grow a child in Thailand. You can get like a really nice school if you pay like expensive enough. Good education comes with a price. Well, if you want a really good one, you will pay more. We know that a lot of, especially Chinese people, they want to have their career and lots of money in the bank and all that before you get married. Money is nice, but it's not the most important thing. The most important thing is committing to going through life Financially stable, mentally stable as well. You can't just be married and living on the streets and stuff. Marriage is, it's not just with the person, right? Especially back in India and everything. It's, you're actually married to the family. So you need to be willing to be in that space, willing to be with other people. And that's a little bit of compromise, a little bit of adjustment. We share the same values and then we share the same goals. I feel that that's also very important to consider. It's really just about if you feel ready to like commit to another person. Like it's such a big responsibility. Naturally things need, we need like some sort of, you know, apartment of course, or some sort of car maybe. Maturity, security, family related issues, and also feel comfortable in the relationship itself. Make sure you know the person you're marrying, their heart is good. Kids. <laughs> I think, yeah, for marriage, yes, it's very important. But I think it's a little bit different with me because I'm, religious so for me it's more like you have to get married in order to live together with your partner so i think it's very natural to maybe get married a little bit earlier how did you and your partner agree on when to get married people will change like it's impossible to avoid it so when you get married to someone you must be ready that these people will change and that you'll still love these people. Communication is very important. Communication is not just expressing but being a good listener as well. The understanding that when you live with somebody else there will be a lot of what we say give and take. It will not always go the way I want. And discuss everything together without getting excited, that's very important. Yeah. So before you and your partner get married, did you have any situation that you didn't have the same agreement with marriage? My family wanted, they've known about him, so they wanted me to get married much earlier. But he was doing his PhD and he didn't want to get married in the middle of that. So there was a disagreement over there where I said, you know, we can just get married, you do your thing, I'll continue working. Like, currently my husband is working, I left my career in India to move to Shinshu to be with him. If you're willing to like, make some sacrifices, make some compromises, it depends on the two people. Just like yourself, are you a person who wants to get married? One girl, 
Just one girl? No. No, Mary, Mary, you know? I have to have babies. I have to make many babies. This is the life God gave us, you know? Maybe I haven't found the right one. Yeah, persuading that. I just let the destiny take its course. I'm still young. I, I'm not ready to settle down yet. I still want to like travel different parts of the world without worrying about, about kids or worrying about like, like you know, like marriage and stuff like this. Yeah. I do have like my own personal goals before I want to like have my own family, and I know it's going to be a lot more um, to deal with. But for sure, I do want to have my own family and get married eventually. There's a couple factors. One is I'm a student, pre-med student, so I'm focusing on that path right now. I don't have a reason, but we're going to get married. Oh, okay. We've been together for four years. She, we're not going to marry. Do you have any regrets? Yeah. About marrying her? Yeah. No way. <laughs> That's the best thing I ever did.